Well, this is very exciting. We've got the cast of My Soulmate on the line, a new romantic comedy about Stephanie Bell, played by Marva King, who's a divorced single mother and rigid attorney, whose protege, Jalissa, played by Janita Talbert, signs her up for a trial subscription to the My Soulmate dating app. Upon doing so, Stephanie becomes open to dating and the possibility of finding love. And on the line, we've got Marva King, Janetta Talbert, and also some other cast members, Nakia Dillard, West Barrington Artop, and the executive producer, Andre Harris. Good afternoon, everybody. Good hey, afternoon. thanks for having us. <laughs> this is a lot of people. So, Andre, how did you come up with the story? One of my girl, my associates and I had been talking about our dating, uh, <laughs> dating app experiences yeah. and decided to come up with a story. And uh, we pitched the story to one of my writers who took it and had a ball with it, and thus here we are. Without giving too much away about the plot... What kind of things happen in it? What do you think makes it separate from you know all the other rom coms out there? Well, it's really not a real rom com. It's a it's a it's really a dramedy, but it has some <laughs> twist funny stuff in it. But I think what makes a difference is we actually get to see um, how things go. We get to see um, the the life of a person who's just straight and narrow kind of start bending and then maybe coming back, trying to go straight and narrow to saying, okay, well, there's a possibility that I I could find love. So, yeah. Now, Marva King, of course, you play the lead role of Stephanie Bell. And this is actually your first film that you've done in quite a few years. So what was it like to be back on the big screen? It was great. It was a great experience. Um, We shot in a relatively short period of time. So it was quite demanding, but there was a lot of excitement and because it was comedic, um, because it was romantic. And um, I guess I keep finding myself in these kind of roles. <laughs> yeah. but, uh, but it was great. It was a great experience, a great cast of people to work with. And that hiatus that you took, I mean, was that a conscious choice? Because what I really want to know is what was it about this film that made you want to come back? You know what? Yeah, it was definitely a uh, conscious choice to move away from acting. I never really initially wanted to be an actress. I love music. That's my first love. And um, but I some kind of way I keep getting thrown back into it. And um, I did take a good hiatus and focus on music and a few other things. I uh, went to school, culinary school and such. And then um, Andre is the one who made me want to do this again. She met with me early last year. She went out of her way to come and meet with me. And when we sat and talk, um, yeah. I was definitely interested after our conversation, so here I am. And what was your favourite part of filming it? I'd have to say, (laughs) (laughs) I have a few favourite parts, Um, but one in particular was um, when the guys actually had a confrontation and I don't want to give too much of the film away, but they had a confrontation and I had to go and break it up. And it was um, kind of fun to do a sprint and feel like I was in action. <laughs> <laughs> that was the favourite part for me. <laughs> and Nakia, how did you find working with Andre Harris Productions? I've worked with Andre for years and um, I'm a big fan of hers. And It was great to work with her again. Um, so we, we actually met on a set of of another film a few years ago and since Andre started doing her uh, films you know I've always helped her helped her and and all, just just to be there just to help her in any type of way she needed and um, I, I just enjoy working with her I guess it shows a lot of confidence that she has in your acting that you met on a previous set and here you yes. are working together again right right <laughs> yeah met, was it 2017 Nakia? <laughs> it was when? 2017 wow Oh, yeah, when it, we did it, it was we met in 2017, yeah. and every project that I filmed, maybe minus one, Nakia has been on that set. Wow. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> do you find that you work well together? Yeah, we do. We really do work well together. Um, and just watching Andre work, her uh, ambition, and just her 
style that she brings to the uh, the industry is different than a lot of other sets. And so I, I enjoy working with her. Yeah. Just tell us a little bit about the character that you play, Nakia. Well, I play a young man named Derek Singleton. And uh, he's been uh, out of the he's been out of the um, dating world for a while. And he was just, you know, trying to get back into the mix of love and, you know, trying to juggle his life with his, his daughter. Uh, you know, <laughs> there'll be a little little issues there, but uh, but you you gotta watch the movie and see how everything unfolds. <laughs> yeah, looking forward to it. And yeah. we've just been joined on Zoom by Brillance Hall, who plays the role of JB. Good afternoon. <laughs> Hey, how you doing? I'm great, thank you. Now, your character, JB, he's kind of like the street guy, isn't he? What was it like to play a character like that? It was very difficult because that's not me. I'm joking. It, it, it wasn't difficult. It's kind of <laughs> me, too. <laughs> so, you know, I, I, I kind of played into how I was a little bit when I was younger. So, real street guy. You know, I had to dig back into those those mentality that mentality. So you can relate a lot to this character. Andre was the character written with him in mind, or was he deliberately chosen yeah. because of that? No. So I'm the type of writer that um, every time I put a pen to the paper, I already know who's going to be that person. I already know who the role is for. So there's no auditioning. There's no none of that for my key players. I'm writing with them in mind. Yeah. Now, granted, I do some shifting, but I'm writing with them in mind. So they had the script long months, months, months before we even went to set because they were already given pictures. Um, I gave my writers the pictures. Is this is who I want for this? This is who I want for that. And then it just it happened. And Brill had the script along, but I think before I think Marvin had it first and then Brill had it second. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I guess there must be times where you've written a script with someone in mind and then they're either not available or maybe you never hear back from them. But are most of the people you cast, maybe your friends and people you've worked with before, like who are in this film where you kind of know they'll probably be interested? So Wes, it was written um, also for Wes to be Michael um, Curry. It was written for Nakia to be uh, who he was and Brill to be JB. Um, and But Janita, on the other hand, was um, came in to be another person and of course well that story tells <laughs> kind of gave you a briefing on that one in 48 <laughs> hours for the logo because it was post. so yeah so Wes played uh Michael uh, Kirby and um when I shared with him about it he was ecstatic about it got the script was like okay um and everybody was on everybody was really really ready but I do write for them when somebody don't show up I already have in my mind okay, I got to play a game of chess right now. I got to play yeah. chess. Who, who's going to do that? And that's how it works. Now, it's interesting you mentioned Janita because, Janita, you actually learned the lines for one role and then had to learn new lines for another role within 48 hours. What happened there? I did. I did. So um, I was given the opportunity to be Bunny originally, learn those lines as you just spoke about. And then I was given the greater opportunity to have a larger role, which really was a test to see if, oh, wow, I really wanted to be a part of this beautiful, talented cast in this game of acting because I haven't been in it in, so what, in such a, a long time. And I was so grateful that I was able to deliver. And again, it was a test to see if I had the ability to even bring out the talent and to be present. And yeah. I appreciated that with Andre's production as well as Kazar production as well. It must have been very hard because it's not just about learning the words. It's also about how am I going to say that? How am I going to move? in this scene and block it out and everything and be able to deliver as the character right and, yeah. and follow the direction yes it was slight pressure there and I was just grateful for the cast as well to be so patient and willing to work with me and, and give me pointers as well and implement that so I can't wait for it to be seen and do you think you managed to pull it off I mean nobody watching would ever know that you only knew you were going to play the role two days before I like that with all that being said absolutely and again <laughs> I, I can't wait to hear the reviews to see what you all think as well. Yeah. Now, West Barrington, Artop, how are you? I haven't spoken to how you yet. You? How are you? How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. What was it about this film that made you want to do it? Well, sorry, 
first thing was working with the uh, incredible Andre Harris. And, um, I, you know, I certainly worked with her in the past on a couple of things and just her energy and her spirit, you know, you know, her, her drive to get things done truly made me want to want to work with her in the future. And then when she, you know, when she presented this opportunity to me, I was like, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. You know? And I was, you know, I'm happy that I certainly, you know, that I agreed to do it because it was a great experience, you know, working for And the fact that he knew that Marvin King was going to be the lead. Yes. <laughs> that, that, that's always all. <laughs> yeah. And what was it like to work with, it says here, the infamous Marvin King? Well, 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 she's incredible. And infamous in her own way, in many, in many varieties. You know, I mean, she's a, um, she's an icon. Yeah. And, uh, musically, um, you know, just her whole personality, her whole sound. It was, you know, I felt great working with her and I had the privilege to work with her. You know, so. Thank you. Likewise. So, West, how would you describe your character? Yeah, not too much away. I mean, um, I think my passion, my, my, my character is filled with passion, uh, perseverance to kind of overcome the odds and really get what he wants to be at and, you know, um, really overcoming the challenges that he was going through, um, you know, for himself and his family and to find someone that um, could share his life that he was already, you know, going to put out there, which is happiness and, and creativity and many things. So, uh, it was a good, good character to really put your teeth in. Yes. I noticed behind you, you've got one of those sort of wall decorations. It's got loads of words. It's like love. Love, laugh, sing, loads of things. Is yeah. that kind of what your character would like to have as well? Yeah, I mean, and um, you know, it's really coincidental because in in the movie, um, I don't know if I can can I say the outcome of his significant other? Yeah, well, <laughs> the, it has a lot to do with it, shaking but, head, and all those things. Really <laughs> so of compassion, and all those things. For each of you, I don't know if everyone will have time to answer this because there's a few of you, but how do you think everybody's gonna receive this film let's go for andre first given that you seem to be in charge of everything i'm a hopeless romantic okay <laughs> <laughs> so i think if nothing else a lot of people who are single or who are on dating apps and all this kind of stuff i think it may raise the bar a little bit or give them a lot of hope so i believe they'll receive it really well because it has you know it just has this it's tender moments that's all i could say so I think they'll receive it really well. Now, let's go for Brilliance. We was here to make a movie, right? So you're going to get all kinds of people who like it and don't like it, right? So I think the whole cast put their all into it to the point where it really doesn't matter. You know, those type of things that, you know, people look for in a the movie that they watch. We got critics all over the place. To me, I think people are going to receive it quite well. Because again, you know, there are some hopeless and romantics, just like she said, you know. And there's some people who's going to be really drawn to the film. And, and it's going to be to the point where we didn't even think that this film would go so far as it did, you know, mm. when they see expectations. I suppose the great thing about it is that it deals with dating apps, which is a modern film. It's a film for our times. <laughs> It is. Most definitely. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Now, let's get another opinion here. Who should we go? Let's say Marva King. What do you <laughs> think is going to be the main thing people will take away from the film? Well, what I think they'll take away from it, um, besides the fact that there is love in the end, there's definitely love, so it's a happy ending. But I also think that the reality of how people are living their lives, you know, the fact that I'm dating uh, through an app, but I'm also, you know, dealing with more than one gentleman, not at the same time, but <laughs> I have, <laughs> but I do have, you know, and I'm such a conservative <laughs> person that, yeah. um, didn't really care to move into this whole area. And it, ch I had a change of heart. Um, I end up being very happy, but we also get a chance to peek inside everybody's lives and see how they're really living. And it's real. It's what goes on in real life. So I think that that people who may look at, at the movie may say, oh, wow, OK, I'm living this life or I'm dealing with this same kind of circumstance, whether they're male or female, and then say, you know what, I may have to look at it from a different perspective in terms of moving forward with dating or moving forward with just being happy and making sure I consider more than just myself. You know, because there's other when, when you have families, you have more than yourself to consider. So I think they'll take that away from it and then they'll get a whole bunch of laughs. 
Yeah, <laughs> which is what we want. Yep, <laughs> want to be entertained. And you've worked with many well-known people over the years, like Prince Michael Jackson, among others. How do oh, yeah. they compare with the people you've worked with on this film? Well, I mean... Come on, are you really trying to compare <laughs> Prince and Michael Jackson? <laughs> With even me. <laughs> um, I mean, who would be upset? <laughs> I've enjoyed, I'll tell you this, because we all were working like a family here. And not saying that they weren't family. Michael was very much like a family to me, a uh, family member. And um, his whole family, his entire family still are like family to me. But... For us to work together here on this set, you know, we all just met each other. I, I hadn't met any of the cast members at, before. And um, very quickly, I felt like a family member with them. Yeah, so it, it was a very positive experience. It was warm. When I left, I, I missed them. And um, and I saw a whole lot of them. And <laughs> I did miss them shortly after I left. So that's that's a good sign. Yeah. Um, but Prince and Michael, don't compare them to those guys. <laughs> yeah. right. And, you know, Marvin and I met, we had a mutual friend who passed away back in 2009. Yes. So we met years and years ago back then. And I yes. had a conference and Marvin got off the plane and came to the conference. And I was like, oh, my goodness. And that was all she wrote because it was so good to see and hear her voice again after all those years. So we have a lot of oh, things yes. that we've been about trying to put together and work on. Yeah. Are you kind of like one big family? Because it's quite rare to get pretty much the whole cast of a movie doing an interview together and all the PR stuff. Do you like to be together? Yeah, we do. We had a, yeah. a we like mm -hmm. to do things together if we can, but everybody from all over the world and we have different schedules. Like Marva, one morning I was on the phone with her. She was here on the East Coast. And that afternoon, she texted me, how about I'm in LA. I said, listen, I can't keep up. So <laughs> all over the place and doing different things but when we try to come yeah. together schedules will allow it we will do these things together oh definitely what's everybody got coming up so Andre first of all both for yourself and for the production company is there anything exciting after this film yes we just cast it for this movie called The Museum mm. um, so that's a, a, dr a drama thriller so we're just going to be filming that in April. A Mother for Christmas, I'm filming that in Chicago. We decided to change the location. So I'm filming that in Chicago in March. And we're supposed to be doing another movie called The Apostle by June. But we're working out all the funding. So I have a lot of things on the box. And then Marva, what have you got coming up? I have a new music project coming out. And um, so I've been closing all of that out, production, um, mixing, mastering. And then I have a possible television series coming up that was just offered to me in December. So now I won't say possible. It's just a matter of when. Um, they're thinking that in the next couple months we should have something put together for that, which is pretty amazing. Um, and it's a feature character as well. Um, and then I have a Christmas movie that I'll be shooting also in uh, April, the end of April. Nice. It's a, it's a comedy as well. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds exciting. We all love Christmas movies. It's only just oh, been yeah. Christmas, but I want it to be Christmas again. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of presents, right? Yes. <laughs> Has anybody else got anything coming up? Speak now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> Hey, I actually uh, have a. I'm I'm currently working on a TV show called The Wonder Years on ABC, and uh, this this Friday actually I'll be on the show BMF uh, with Fifty Cent and just producing different uh, films. I have an acting school, so a few of the students are doing some projects, and we just filmed uh, two projects at Andre Harris's uh, studio. It's a rap studio, so yeah. So just just constantly just. Having the kids do things as well as the adults and just staying creative. But definitely check out Wonder Years and BMF. We got a couple things coming out. Um, but, um, of course, my soulmate. And uh, we have a movie called Lola 2, which is a boxing movie. Um, I'm your wife, Nakia. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> I'm Jay Harris and Nakia. Uh, right. Actually, You're writing that also. Alan films. And, um, I got another film called now, which is uh, kind of a thriller. Um, that's written by Chris Fox. And then um, we got a video coming out with Styles P and um, Havoc. Um, this is kind of a video movie. 
young, so that should be real good. And I just did the Defender with Melissa Lee. So I actually just auditioned for the museum and I got cast, so I'm looking forward Ooh, to that. Yay, exciting. Well, this current film is called My Soulmate, and we should say that there's a movie screening happening at the historic old Greenbelt Theatre on Saturday the 4th of February. So where can we get tickets for that? And also, where will we be able to see the film when it's out next month? The film will be at Old Greenbelt Theatre right called my soul made the movie and the tickets are for on sale right there and actually we're already in negotiation with different streaming platforms and distributors to find out where the movie is going to find a home and yeah. um so I'm just in negotiations with all of that right now excellent well thank you very much everybody for coming on the show and good luck in 2023 and all your stuff that you've got coming up thank, thank, you. thank you so much thank, thank you, you. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank, thank you. you so much. Good to see everybody. Yes.